Hello friends, welcome back to India for IAS. This is Manjunath Mudod. In this video, we are going to study about ozone pollution. Why ozone pollution is in use? What are the effects and challenges associated with ozone pollution? This topic, it falls under GS3 paper. GS3 paper within GS3, environmental pollution. This topic can also be studied under GS1 paper. In GS1, under climatology part. Geography Climatology part. This topic is important for both prelims and mains. Prelims 2025 upcoming UPSC prelims and also KS prelims. This topic is also important for mains, upcoming mains, mains 2024 and also 2025. The reason being ozone pollution, it is continuously in use and it is one of the pressing environmental pollution issue. Previous year, UPSC has asked a question on ozone pollution, both in prelims and mains. So, in the same way, this year it may reflect either in prelims or mains or in both exams. So, recently ozone pollution was in use because ozone pollution, it slows the tropical forest growth by halting the carbon absorption. So, because of the increase in the ozone pollution, what is happening? It is slowing the tropical forest growth. There is a decrease or decline in the growth of tropical forest tropical forest so this is reducing the or halting the carbon absorption by tropical forest so this ozone pollution this ozone itself at the troposphere is a pollution ozone at troposphere is a pollution so it in addition to causing pollution it is also slowing the growth of forest that is tropical forest so that is the latest finding by the research. Now we will briefly look into what is ozone. Ozone is a oxygen molecule. It is a three atom oxygen molecule. This is ozone. So in oxygen we have two atoms. O2. This is O2. This is ozone. Here three atoms of oxygen are there. This is O3. Coming to the significance of the ozone, it has a dual role to play. In the stratosphere, it has one role. At the ground level, it has a contrasting or different role. The ozone at stratosphere, it is naturally occurring and it protects the earth from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Whereas at the troposphere, the ozone is created by man-made emissions, created by the chemical reactions between man-made emissions and it is a powerful greenhouse gas. It is an air pollutant that harms the human health, crop production and ecosystem. So at the stratospheric level, it is good for living beings, whereas at the tropospheric level, it is not good for the living beings. That is at the ground level, ozone is a pollutant. So it doesn't have any beneficial effects on the ecosystem, crop production or health of the living beings. So it is harmful to human health and uh, health of the other living beings. Coming to the recent study that is uh, ozone pollution impact on tropical forest. So there is a new growth reduction. So what is happening? Ground level ozone reduces new yearly growth in tropical forest by 5.1% on an average. Pratiwarsha in Agathe 5.1% tropical forest growth reduction there. Forest growth tali kuntita aktide. The reason being ozone pollution. So, it really regional variations. Regional variations and reno. The decline in tropical forest growth is highest in Asia. Asia the lirta kanta tropical forest tali decline tumba ide. That is 10.9%. Whereas in Africa and uh, South America, the reduction is very minimal. So, as we all know that tropical forests acts as a carbon sink. Carbon sink and they absorb the carbon that is in the atmosphere. So they help, they help in reducing the global warming effect of CO2. So they act as a carbon sink. They capture and store the carbon dioxide. But since 2000, since 2000, the year 2000, ozone pollution, the ozone at the ground level, the ozone pollution, it has reduced the capture of 290 million ton 
it has reduced the capture of 290 million ton of CO2 per year. So, this led to the cumulative loss of 17 percent carbon removal by tropical forest. So, there is a decline in 17 percent CO2 removal by the tropical forest. So, this is the impact of the ground level ozone on tropical forest and CO2 removal. So, coming to the future implications of the ozone pollution, the increasing ozone concentration at the ground level, it is going to affect the growth in forests, especially tropical forest. So, this ground level ozone, it is going to cause harmful effects on the biodiversity that is both animals and plants. This is all about ozone, how ozone plays dual role that is one role at a stratospheric level and the role at the ground level. Ozone pollution, implications or impact of the ozone pollution. So, based on the topic that we have studied so far that is ozone pollution. So, here we have provided one plinth practice question. It contains four statements. Go through all the four statements and comment your answer. The answer and detailed explanation for this question and uh, the detailed notes of this video is available in the PDF handout which you can download by joining our telegram channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then happy learning.